So the solar eclipse just happened. Well, it just happened when I'm filming this. And I want to talk about it. What it is, folks in myth lore about it. I, I, I don't even know how I messed up this sentence that badly or how I neglected to realize I messed it up while filming this. What I meant to say was folklore and myths about it. And my personal experience this year. And my experience was pretty interesting. So the solar eclipse. What is it? It's when the moon passes between the earth and the sun, causing the sun to be blocked. Spooky. I, I hated every second of that. Throughout the years, there have been several myths and legends about the solar eclipse. In ancient times, most people thought that eclipses meant evil and that the world was going to end. Myths about eclipses often featured beasts that wanted to destroy the sun and create an unbalance on the earth. And thanks to almanac.com, here are some examples. In Armenia, they believed a dragon swallowed the sun and moon. In Norse culture, Loki gets revenge on the gods for putting him in chains by creating giant wolves and one of them swallowed the sun. In China, Mongolia, and Siberia, beheaded mythical creatures chase and consume the sun and moon. In other cultures, myths about the eclipse were more on the romance side rather than the evil beasts swallowing the moon side. They specifically revolved around the sun sun and the moon being in love. So that's cute. Something that I found interesting was that eclipses were apparently a symbol of good luck for those who worked in the mining business, so the more you know. Now onto my eclipse experience. To start off, I didn't realize how freaking serious solar eclipse glasses were. I mean, yeah, they're important, you know, not to burn your retinas off. But when I say there were people flocking to the stores to get these glasses as fast as they could, I mean it. Facebook moms posting all over their various Facebook mom groups trying to find the location of these glasses. I think my mom called at least like 50 places to find out where they were. The day of the eclipse, me and my mom got up early and headed to the one place she heard still had these glasses left, the local planetarium. Today is the day of the solar eclipse. Yes, the world might be coming to an end and we don't even have the right sunglasses to watch the solar eclipse take place. But it's okay, cause hopefully we're gonna go find some and hopefully the world doesn't end. I'm not one of those people that think the world's gonna end. I don't think the world's gonna end, but I'm gonna be honest with you, the sun is super bright today. Um, yeah, my eyeballs are a little bit hurting and- It could be cause it rained for the past two weeks, but- okay. <laughs> The sun might be hurting my eyes a little extra cause I haven't left my room in like five days. Um. But I feel like that's totally unrelated, totally unrelated. This week has been exciting. We've had rain and floods for like the past few days. An earthquake came and shook my house. So yeah, now we're getting a solar eclipse. So anyways, let's go see if we can find some solar eclipse glasses the day of the eclipse. We're really prepared, if you couldn't tell. We had to walk up so many stairs to get there, but we made it. I kid you not when I say the planetarium just opened and there was already a lot. People were freaking ready. It was serious business. We got the goods. I feel so cool right now. So apparently a bunch of people had the same idea as us because there was a whole freaking line in there and more people coming. Some lady parked next to us and scared the living cheese its out of me because she was like, roll down your window and I'm like, and then she was asking like, did you guys get glasses? Did you get glasses? We we're like, yeah. And then my mom gave her instructions on where to go. So I guess we aren't the only people who were last minute. There are a whole like flock of people rushing to the planetarium. Literally, I'm pretty sure if there was a child running up those stairs in front of them, they would have pushed them out of the way because they were desperate. Um, so now we can see during the solar eclipse, which is good because this was our first stop for today. Um, I personally think we should go to Sonic and get the blackout uh, slush that comes with free solar eclipse glasses. But that's just me. That's just me. So yeah, and you're not supposed to you're not supposed to scratch the solar eclipse glasses or else you'll die or something. I don't I don't really know. Uh but yeah. Mission success. I was actually really surprised we got them. We ended up going to a few different places afterwards just to see if they had any solar eclipse glasses. And we learned that a local dollar store was charging $8 for solar eclipse glasses in opposed to the $3 solar eclipse glasses we got from the planetarium. We then discovered that people were literally buying these solar eclipse glasses then reselling them on the road. A lot of companies hopped onto the solar eclipse train, okay? Sonic with their blackout slush float that comes with limited edition glasses, which looked absolutely delicious. Smoothie King had an eclipse smoothie. And I'm pretty sure Sun Chips did something too. The eclipse merch goes hard for real. We did end up going to Sonic, but I will say it did not go as planned. 
this is so depressing. For starters, the ice cream machine was broken and the person at the window was like, do you just want it without ice cream? And I was like, sure. And then they were like, there's no glasses either. And that was okay with me too. Although I did really kind of want those limited edition Sonic Solar Eclipse glasses. Not gonna lie, this, a little bit disappointing. I think they just like mixed whipped cream with the slushy, uh, you know, to make up for the lack of ice cream, which it wasn't bad by any means. It's just, it's an interesting mixture. It came for the experience. Experience is what I got. The eclipse itself was so freaking cool. Besties, it is 2.31 and the eclipse is happening. I lost the location of the sun. Maybe that's because I'm underneath the tree. Oh, never mind. I found it. There's like a little sliver of the sun being covered. It's barely there. It's gone. Is it? If, if it was gone, it would be dark right now. It's gone. Oh, that's a cloud. It's getting dark, disembodied voice. I'm the alpha. I'm the leader. How do you feel about the eclipse happening? My mom is digging a hole. <laughs> She's clearly planning for the worst. I'm on a, what's this thing called? A blanket? No, it's a... Concrete? No, it's a... Did you not realize we take taking this off? What's it called? <laughs> a baseboard. A boogie board. I'll only be making it run. I may or may not have gotten too comfortable and started to fall asleep on our eclipse gazing blanket, but holy dang, was it an experience. It was really incredible to see. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys like this sort of style of like vlog, like commentary thing, let me know in the comment section. And as always, if you have any topics you'd like me to discuss in future videos, please let me know that in the comment section as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, Brussels sprouts.